A teen killed after the car he was in crashes into a home. Now neighbors are pressing the gas to get the city of Monticello to take action to prevent a similar tragedy from happening. Neil Zerang has details on the city's plans and how that deadly crash reignited a safety conversation. Neil? Laura, changes could be in the form of speed bumps. Mayor Paige Chase said creating some was a topic that was pretty hot when she was first elected four years ago. But the impact on emergency vehicles and their response times shut it down. A damaged wall is proof of what happened weeks ago on Briarwood Avenue in Monticello. A teen lost his life crashing through this home at high speed. Tim Park said if his neighbor had been in the bedroom that night, the tragedy would have doubled. I think when you have an accident like that, the, the city's got to have some kind of responsibility to at least examine it and study it and see how you can how you can prevent it. People on Park Street suggested speed bumps on social media. And Mayor Page Chase explained why the concern for police and ambulance slowdown or damage has prevented it before. Nobody, nobody questioned it after that until this. In the latest council meeting, Chase and Monticello Alderman proposed a road study which will be handled through the Planning Commission. It will start over the next few months looking at traffic patterns, speeds, and problems on all roads with a focus on safety. There's a whole lot more to it than just, you know, oh, we need a speed bump, so let's put one in. It shouldn't be that easy. Not that it should be difficult, but you can't make rash, quick decisions on things that ought to be considered. The area where the crash happens connects Main Street with the highway. It's a shortcut. But it's also completely residential. Park said there isn't even a posted speed limit. There is one stop sign, but... Well, I've seen several people run it. Some neighbors object to having a speed bump or hump close to their driveway, but Park said if it can deter another car from going through a home, it's worth pursuing. I wouldn't have an issue with it. Anything that would uh, be a deterrent, I think, would be, would be helpful. Off camera, other neighbors told me of a different house that was hit in the area just a few years ago, and people dashed through at 50 miles per hour sometimes, despite there being many children around. Niels Rang, Kara K, 4 News.